Hello there everyone, Quinnicky D here. Welcome back to another video. Today I am here with part three of Let's Play The Sims 4 Realm of Magic. So in the last part we came to the realm with Coraline and we furnished her house and it's pretty cool here. We looked around but we didn't dive into the gameplay. So we were talking to the Sage of Practical Magic and he said in order to bestow magic upon him we have to retrieve seven magical moats and basically these are magical moats so let's collect all of these moats around the place he gave us like special vision and we only have eight hours to do so so let's go ahead thank you simeon we do appreciate it Coraline. now is not the time to chat it is the time to walk around two three okay where are the more moats that girl was on the floor. I don't know what she was doing there. How many moats do we have? Three, four, five, six. That should be enough. That wasn't as hard. I thought we were gonna have to like travel, travel. One more. Okay, we have the seven magical moats. Now where'd you go? Can we turn in moats? There we go. I know that like this is like the headquarters or something. I'm, I don't know what it's called, but a lot of people have like recreated this lot. But I, I don't think it's that bad. It's ugly, but it's not terrible. Okay, what does this mean? <gasps> Ooh, girl, she's flying. Wow. Well, that was easy. Cora is now a spellcaster. You can view her spellbook by opening her perks panel or by clicking on the button in this window. Well, I want to click the perks panel. Count points. Wow. Look at all of this. Magical resonance. While in the magic realm, the sim is extremely powerful. They are protected by death from overload and can... Oh, death by overload. Yeah, you can like overuse your magic and die in this game. And can more freely build charge and discharge their spellcaster charge levels. Also increased success chance of potion making, drinking, and spellcasting. This is potent potables. Potables. Effects on all potions are increased and or last highly... Oh, all of these are like different things. Okay. And this is master duelist. Okay, so we're, it's like a fighting thing. Practice practicality. That's right. She's a practical person. So I guess all of these have to do with that. Okay, cool. Open spellbook. Fun. Oh, you can do all of them. Untamed. So there's alchemy, untamed magic, mischief magic, and practical magic. We really want practical magic. Reparo, scrub, scrubero, delicioso, floralo, transport latale, copy pasto, herbio, home wardial, rite of ascension. What is the mischief magic? This seems like actual fun. Like, in, okay, that's actually like really fun. But I guess we can do all of it. Doesn't really matter. Alchemy, and then yeah, we can do alchemy. We can figure out what that is. Yeah, we're never really gonna use this stuff. But that's okay. Um, okay. This is really cool. And what is this? The spark of magic begins to flow and swirl. Practice magic. Learn and make new potions in the cauldron. Cast spells and search for tomes to gain experience. Okay. And then what is this thing? Glimmerstone. What does that mean? Oh, I guess when you destroy it, you leave or something? I don't really know. Okay, what should we do? Do we, like, should we cook mac and cheese in one of the big things? Do we read a, a tome? Wands of Desire? Cooking with moats? Oh, there's new books. Okay. Experiment. Ooh, let's experiment. Fifth book. So is this like gaining a skill of some sort? Or is this like this thingy? Yes. Okay, I get it now. Makes sense. This all makes sense. How long does she do this for? Like, is she gonna get something out of it? Oh, no, she just gets a bunch of this. Oh, next rank neophyte. What is she now? An apprentice. Oh, I get it. Okay, that makes sense. And then she'll get talent points. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I don't really know if I want her to focus on alchemy. Since this is like a little mini-series, I kind of just want her to focus on 
other things. I don't know how many parts this series is, by the way. I know, like, my Stranger Bill was five, so this might also be five. We're not sure yet. I'm, I'm gonna do this until she levels up, because I want to see what happens. Don't read! Stop it! She was so close. Oh, wait. Actually, do read that. Wait, what was that? Search for tomes. No tome in that one? Was there not a tome? I guess there wasn't a tome. Read. Cooking with moats. Is anything going to actually give her, like, genre nonfiction? No. No, these are all just, like, books. Okay. We'll go search. And you should actually pee. Where can you pee? Do, do, is there a bathroom in this in the realm of magic? Oh, there is. Perfect. Is it downstairs? Oh, it's right there. How convenient. Okay, cool. Um, what else can we do here? Is that the only thing we can do? There's a kitchen. There's this thing. This looks really intense. I, I want to experiment more. Like, I want to level up so we can like get a power. Right? Should we? Oh, she found a tome. <gasps> she found a tome. Tome of Nimble Mind. Can we read it? Study it. Yeah, study it. Girl, study that tome. Sit like sit at this desk and study. Oh, there's more downstairs? Oh, wow. There's a lot of space here. Okay, that, this is cool. This is actually really cool. All right, you better, like, get some points. You better be leveling up. All right, I'm definitely not seeing her level up. This is going to take longer than I thought. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's have you do this again. Experiment. This is definitely the fastest way. Oh, yeah, like it's already zooming up. Look at all these people. Can we become a sage? Cook? Oh, Korra. <laughs> I called her Cook. Korra is a spellcaster neophyte. Fun. I don't know what that means. Um, Korra has discovered a new potion recipe and has bottled up a sample. One potion of good fortune has been added to her inventory. Oh, okay. So I guess that by doing all that... Okay, so we are doing alchemy. But I would like to practice... Pra I want to practice practical magic to focus on like a house. I want to do that. But I don't know how to. I guess we have to go buy a wand, right? Let's go buy a wand. How do you get there? Do we have to do this? Go to Caster's Alley. Yes, do that. Do that indeed. And we can buy a broom or something. That would be fun. Let's go. Go into Caster's Alley to buy a broom or something like that. I'm going to readjust that. Okay, so it's like, this is like one lot, but it's like a bunch of different stores, which is really cool how they made it work. So what's here? Buy wands, tomes, and familiars. Oh, I want to buy a familiar. Buy brooms and crystals. Okay, we're not going to buy a familiar this episode. Buy potion ingredients. Okay, there's a lot that you can do in this pack, and I'm very pleased. I'm very, very pleased. Buy wands, tomes, and familiars. Let's buy a wand. Ancient wood wand. Bone wand. Familiar Orb of the Fairy, and these are tomes, and this is a Wand of Crystal Creation. Forged out of moonstones and imbued with astral vapors, this wand holds the power to million galaxies. Crafted with the, crafted with the methods of old, this ancient wand harkens back to simpler time, a time when wands didn't represent your wealth or status, but your passion for the magical arts. The bone wand is slightly more robust than the classical wood variant, just don't ask where the bones came from. <coughs> Okay, let's do the Wand of Astral Creation. I feel like that's her vibe. Set wand as favorite wand. So what does this mean? How do you cast a spell? Magic. Practice magic. <gasps> Thank you for shopping at Juan's wonderful one-stop wand warehouse. Check back tomorrow. Their daily offerings are always changing. Oh, cool. Practice magic. Practice practical magic. What does this mean? That is so cool. Oh, 
Oh, we can buy a talent point. I forgot about that. Okay, hello. Um, I don't know which one we want. Or this. What is this? Incredible Forager. The sim will now receive more items when harvesting magical ingredients. We don't really care about that. Experimenter. When experimenting, practicing sim gains experience faster with less failures. That sounds good. What is this? Sims can now cast Discharge, which empties Spellcaster Discharge. Oh, I don't want that. Don't think so. Oh, no, we do because we don't want too much charge. We can do that next. Blender Arm. Potion crafting speed increased. No. Knowledge is magic. Sim reads and does computer research at a faster rate. These interactions are also provide magical experience over time. I think I want this one. When experimenting and practicing, Sim gained experience faster plus failures. Yeah, definitely not one. <laughs> Look at the hoodie. I'm very confused. Why isn't she using a wand? No, we always want her to use one. Practice magic. Practice practical magic more. Is she can use a wand now? Yes! Slay girl. Is this her practicing? Did she get anything in the spell book? One out of 15. Okay, there's only- there's nine practical magic spells. I don't know how you do anything. Like, is this her- is this count as practicing? I think it does. I think we're doing the right thing. I'm not really sure. Confused a bit. She looks like she's doing the right thing. Yeah, she's definitely doing the right thing. Oh, she's is she getting hungry? I wish it was a food stand. Friendly introduction. Let's let's introduce ourselves to this girl, and maybe we can practice magic with her. Like you know, like in vampires, you can like ask like a higher vampire if you can like if they can be trained. Maybe we can do that with her. Let's try it, Cora. Stop it. I'm glad she's into it. <gasps> Cora has discovered a new spell, Scrubero. Scrubero. Make something or someone squeaky clean. Okay, maybe I don't want this one. Furio, mischief magic, untamed magic. An untamed spellcaster de dedicates themselves to the most only powerful and uncontrollable spells. Magic is a force to be controlled. Minionize. Duplicato. Ooh, we might want to change to Untamed. We can do all of them, I guess. I want to want to duplicate ourselves. Okay, let's practice different kinds of magic now. I guess we're gonna not Scribero. Do do Scribero. Let's see how you use it. Oh, we're squeaky clean. I guess this is our spellcaster charge. Regular. In this range, all magic behaves normal. No additional benefits or dangers. Okay. Give her a little friendly introduction and see if we can, like, put a spell on her. Dag dag. Is she a spellcaster? Give magic duel? Challenge to magic duel at dueling grounds? <gasps> duel. Duel for knowledge. Yes. Duel this girl. I heard there's no hurt in dueling. So that's good. That was so cool. Okay, I'm sorry. That was so, so cool. Okay, she's charged now. Spellcasting is more powerful, but success chance is slightly decreased. But there's also a possibility of becoming cursed, so cast carefully. 
Okay, good to know. It was all skill from winning a magic, the winning a magic duel. Cora sees victory's face, and then she realized it was her. Okay, cool. Magic. And what is we have? What do we have now? We have a new. We have a new spell book. We have a new spell. Mischief magic. Deliriate. Reach into a sim's head and scramble their thoughts. <gasps> Let's do it to her. Can we cast a spell on you? Magic. Spells. Deliriate. Deliriate. Do it. Is she confused? She's confused. Eh. Okay, we gotta be careful with her now. Let's let's be, let's not do anything for a little while. She's tired and hungry. Is there anywhere we can eat around here? Ingredients? Is there any food around here? There's a there's a kitchen. We can go back to the kitchen. Okay, let's go back. Um, wh what is this called? Headquarters. Okay, yeah. I lo okay, honestly, love how fast the I love how fast the traveling is. I very much appreciate that because that's great. That was just I wasn't expecting her to like walk right back through. What else is there to to travel to? I guess it's just the dueling grounds. And then what's this? Where's the other thing? Return to Glimmerbrook. Oh, this one. The gardens. Okay, it's just the, just the garden. Oh, because you can like plant things. That's right. Okay, there there is a lot to do in this pack. Very. Um. Sometimes I wish they just made things expansion packs, and I would. This maybe could have been an expansion pack. This like Loki has more than island living. Loki, high key Loki. Okay, maybe someone has food in the fridge. Open any food? No food. Y'all stink. Oh my god. Um, we need like a food spell. I guess we have to freaking cook. I didn't think we were going to have to cook in this series. Pan de muerto. Pan de muerto. Go make some... Death bread. Go ahead. Cook some dinner for you. Or some... It is, it's 12 a.m. Jesus. We may need to sleep here. I mean, I guess we could return home. And come back tomorrow. But it's such a long walk. Like an unnecessarily long walk, and if she's not too tired, I would. I, I think a spell to like. See, that's why I think practical magic would be cool because she can like you know, boom. I'm not hungry. Boom. I'm not tired. Like that could be. That's so cool. You know, especially like if we're trying to like get all of the spells done. That's really cool. I don't think we're gonna get all the spells done, whatsoever. I think we should just you know do a couple things until we feel satisfied. And this is going down, which is good. Because we don't want her to die. Arabian nights like Arabian days. So I think in the next episode, we might try and get a, a broom. Like a witch's broom. Either that or a familiar. I'm not sure which one, but we're going to do one of them. So, stay tuned for that. Oh, she just glitched us out. Thanks a lot, Candy. Freaking, why are you even here? You're not part of this pack. That was weird, though. Okay, let's... Are we traveling back to Glimmerbrook? Let's visit... What is it? What is that? The gardens over here. Can we actually go inside of that? Where? Or is this just, like, lemon tree? What else can you get here? Cherry... It's, it's fall, though, so nothing's going to be grown. What's this? Valerian plant. Ooh. Ooh, it's a little... That's cute. I've never seen that before. These trees are cute, too. What's back here? Potato. It's just normal plants. And I don't think you can go inside of here. Yeah, you can't. But it's really nice. Everything here is really nice. I don't know why I'm, like, saying that's nice. Everything is. I don't even... This doesn't bother me. Headquarters literally looks really good, too dueling grounds i want to duel someone else just like should we do it one more time let's duel minerva she was the elderly lady that like freaking zoomed off on a broom when we first got here so, so. let's duel her <laughs> magic <laughs> ask for magical training oh we can do that instead <laughs> i'm gonna cheat her needs i don't want her to go to sleep <laughs> Is she gonna train us? Oh, is she training us? 
She is being trained. Oh, that's fun. Good, I'm glad. Levius Nor, yes. Rebarza Frog, new Parabla, Yokumar, Tush, Yafra, Bepsio, Rebarza Frog. She's gaining a lot of experience from this. In addition to practicing magic, you are now able to ask for more experienced, friendly spirit casters for magical training. Potion crafting will okay, continue to grant knowledge. Okay, cool. I wasn't really planning on doing like any potion making at all. I knew that was a thing, but I don't want to focus on it. But if it's going to help us like gain experience, then we can probably, we might have to just do it for fun, you know? Did she gain anything from that? Just literally just experience. Okay, I mean, that's fine. I was hoping for something else. How about this guy? Okay, you, that's Malcolm Landgrab. Yeah, we can totally duel him. Is he like, he can't be a spellcaster at a teenager, can he? Okay, he looks kind of good. Okay, let's do magic. Let's duel him. I want to duel you. Heated duel. Duel for knowledge. Okay, fine. Don't duel him. How about this girl? Gemma Charm. Friendly introduction to Gemma Charm. She has that ugly hair. Gemma, we want to duel you. Can we duel you? I'll pretty much like to let Gemma know. Duel for... Yeah, duel for knowledge. Did she say no? How rude, honestly. Okay, let's see if we can find someone outside that's willing to duel. How about you? Who are you? Mitchell, you seem pretty intense, but I'm ready to duel you and destroy you. Come on. Nice to meet you. Magic. Magic duel. Duel for knowledge. Please say yes. Oh, are they dueling? <gasps> They're dueling right in the middle of the circle. Oh, that's really cool. Is she like administering the duel? <gasps> oh, hello. It's like a four way duel. That's so cool. Oh, she's good. <gasps> Minerva is really good. How do we know that everyone here is a spellcaster? Yes! Yes, Cora! Reparo, okay. I'll take Reparo. Reach spellcaster rank 2. Acolyte. Okay. Oh, wow, we're almost... We're almost done with the first thing. Or, no, we are done with the first thing. How does it go? Reach level three, win three duels against other spellcasters. We've done that already. No five different spells. Reach spellcaster rank five, no ten different spells. That is not that hard, I don't think. We could probably get that done. If we get down the spellcraft and sorcery, I'll be very happy. This could have also been like spellcraft Saturdays if I really wanted to, instead of wizardry Wednesday, even though this is probably not uploaded on a Wednesday. I don't know. I don't know when I'm uploading these videos. All right. Let's take a little break. I'm going to end this episode here. In the next episode, we are – I'm going to try and go rent a broom. And by try, I mean I'm going to go get a broom and maybe a familiar. Not really sure. And we'll just probably, like, stay in the realm and see what's up. I don't really know. But – I'm having a lot of fun. I think this is actually a genuinely a really cool pack. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you have any suggestions for Coraline and her wizardry experience, let me know. All right. But for now, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like it. I'll see you guys all again next time. Goodbye. Woo.